there was all these fan theories about potentially One Direction appearing on the show. Was yes. that ever a conversation? I think you've ruled it out, unless this is a surprise. And obviously, we don't want to ruin the surprises for the show. No, it's not um, a surprise. But, 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 we've ruled it out. It's, it's <laughs> <not>. <laughs> so why are you doing that? This is someone that has brought us so much entertainment over the last, I mean, nearly over the last decade. It's unbelievable, right? And, and he, he did something that a lot of Brits have tried and failed to do. And some of them are still trying. Right, shouts to Michael Greco. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's not forget, right? That is go out to Los Angeles and make themselves a success. Okay, this is something even my dad tried and ultimately failed, right? But this man has absolutely blown it all out of the water. I'm talking about the one, the only, the only ever star of late night TV. Let's be real here. It is, of course, Mr. James Corden. Yes, yeah. come on. James, oh, yeah. uh, welcome to the show, mate. Thank you so much. I know you, you, you come on the show before, but but look, this is so special. And thank you for coming on. You know, on, I'm on, so on, happy to be here. On, on what Ooh. is it? It is such a special week. I mean, uh, talk to me. This is this is the final week of of the late late show. It's it's the it's yeah. the it's the final episodes. And ha sum it up this week for you. How have you felt? Well, it's a whole mixture of of emotions, really. Mainly, mainly, I feel real a real sense of like pride and I feel immense sort of love and gratitude and because you know what it's like you guys like you know what it's like which when you when you make a show like this where essentially what you do is make a show every day mm. you you create this kind of wonderful like found family really and so the atmosphere in our studio has just been and around the whole office and the team it's just been incredible. Like the majority of our team, I think like 80 or 90% have been there since day one. So we've all gone on this journey together. We've done 1200 shows in eight years. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it really does feel like it's the right time to be, to be walking away. And I know that that's quite bemusing to some people, but it, it really does feel right in every sense. And I'm, I'm really, really excited. We have one last show tomorrow and and we're just going to try and go out in the same way that we came in we're, we're really i think we've got a really really good show for for people to enjoy i hope i mean let, let's talk about that show i mean how how do you narrow down who is going to be your final guests on a show like that because you have had so many unbelievable people on your show i mean you could literally call up tom cruise and say do you fancy doing it but you've, you've gone with with harry styles and will ferrell right well, Tom is on the show that we're, we're actually got two shows on tomorrow. So okay. we have a prime time special, which is at 10 p.m. And that's got um, that's got the carpool karaoke that we did with Adele that went out on on Monday online. Yeah. And then we have a big bit with Tom Cruise. He's been kind of an amazing guest for us over the last few years. We've done some crazy stuff together, like flying in fighter jets and jumping out of airplanes and all those sorts of things. And it's been incredible. And we um, we do. You're gonna. I don't know if I've told you this. Like on our little uh, WhatsApp messages that we send each other, yeah. uh, which I are always very very fond of. <laughs> very close time. I'm serious. I'm really being really serious. They always mean a great deal to me. But um, we, uh, me and Tom Cruise, um, performed in the touring production of The Lion King. Um, as a surprise, as Timon and Pumbaa, oh, uh, stop on it. my life. Which one were I you, James? You, I promise, full on uh, Hakuna Matata. I was Timon. He was Pumbaa. Amazing. Um, which, by anyone's metric, should be the other way around. But that's what you it. And and it's it's kind of, it's nuts. It's crazy. I, I can't wait for you to see it. So we have that, and then and then on the, our last show, that's like our prime time special. And then on our last show. Will Ferrell's on the show. We have a, a lot of big surprises. And and really, we just thought this is our last chance to try and break Harry Styles' album, you know, just to try and yeah. give it a leg up. I yeah. mean, it needs it. You know, what's he going to do without best. you? Yeah. Well, we just like, this guy's got to sell some tickets, you know. We've got to <laughs> try and let's give him a leg up while we can, you know. He's there singing about fruit and all <laughs> stuff like that. Let's, no, so... Uh, it's Harry was pretty um, adamant that he'd he I mean he's been an amazing friend of the show and he uh, he actually sort of figured his tour out around wow. the last show wow. and stayed in LA and he was like well when is it I have to I'm 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 gonna come on the last show so it's gonna be uh, I'm really really excited to do it it's gonna be sad I'm gonna try and hold it together I'm gonna try not to 
cry my eyes out, which is inevitable, I think, but I just really just don't want to become a meme. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? yeah. I I just, I'm so conscious of not becoming like... <laughs> Doing a rhyme, essentially. Yeah. Well, I just don't, I can't bear the thought of it, so I'm really just going to try and keep it together until I've walked off. It know? might be unavoidable, you never yeah. know. Yeah. There, was, um, there was all these fan theories about potentially One Direction appearing on the show. Was yes. that ever a conversation? I think you've ruled it out, unless this is a surprise, and obviously we don't want to ruin the surprises for the show. No, it's not um, a surprise, but, 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 we've ruled it out. So why are you doing that? Because no, no, I, don't don't, I don't want it to be a thing that no. doesn't happen. If it's like, mm, it would have been better. No, but was it, it ever Was it ever a conversation? I think what happened was when the Jonas Brothers reformed, they reformed... Um, essentially for a week uh, on our show and it was a surprise mm. and the whole, there was a sketch at the start of that week which was me kidnapping the Jonas Brothers <laughs> and getting them back together and it was just it was a silly sketch that we did and ever since then and I, in fact the Jonas Brothers were on the show last night um, they came and did this really cool surprise prank thing for us in the studio and I was able to say to them, it's completely your fault that my, the whole Late Late Show Twitter and social media feed is just full of people saying kidnap One Direction. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And then, and then a, I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it became fact in the same way that I don't know how anyone thinks that I was remotely involved in giving Frank Lampard the Chelsea job. Like, <laughs> Like, I sit there, I sit there with absolute, but I, I'm like, I'm so, I get so bemused, but I can't figure out, I'm like, I don't know where this has come from and we have to stop this. And look, the truth is we love One Direction. I'm a huge fan personally and professionally of that huge, of that whole band. And I actually think if we're being completely honest with ourselves, when the day comes for them to reform or just be seen together, it shouldn't be in a four or five minute segment on a late night talk show. Mm. It should be an hour long doc followed by a tour, followed by an album followed. So we were just, we knew that we had to be very, very quick to just say, no, 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 I promise you, this isn't, this isn't going to happen. <laughs> oh, do you know what, James? It's so funny because here in the UK, obviously, there's so much love. And, and the way that a lot of us actually watch your show is via YouTube. We see the clips of Carpool Karaoke. And that's yeah. one of the smartest things and, and the master that you have created is really that even though we might not watch your show, we feel like we do because we see Carpool Karaoke. We see, um, you know, all your other stunts. And I have to ask, I mean, the last few have been unreal with P. Diddy. Obviously, the Adele yeah. one had us crying. But... Who has been the most intimidating one and how on earth do you learn all those songs? Well, the learning is a challenge sometimes and it's easier with some than others. That's the truth of it. And, but that's just about just, it's about just listening to it all the time. That's the, that's the truth of it. Just sitting with lyrics and just listening to the songs. How long does it but, take um, you to say learn for what, for one of those carpool karaoke's? Well, Bad Bunny was tricky. Mate, Bad um, Bunny was ridiculous. Like, Bad, Bad Bunny, Bunny was, was When well. I saw you had Bad Bunny, I was like, hey, he's not going to do the Spanish. He's, not, he's doing the Spanish. You had to, he's oh, doing I the didn't think. He did full no, Spanish. Yeah. What's that? No, yeah. Do you mean, uh, what's your number now? Are you going to say anything right now, James? Uh, I believe you. <laughs> but I, that's the same for me. But yeah. I, what I did with that was I basically just sort of learnt it phonetically. Wow. But, um, the most, I'll tell you the one th thing that I sort of think is, when we did it with Bruno Mars, who I, I just, I, I, I love him. I think he's just, I'm just a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of his. I think he's maybe one of the best live entertainers of his generation and as a songwriter. And that was a really hard one to get across the line because Bruno doesn't do loads of stuff. And mm. it was a lot of like, just trying to back channel with PRs and managers and all those things. And then he did it and I was, I couldn't believe he, he was going to do it. And then we did it. And this was like peak sort of uptown funk time. Wow. And I'll never forget. We were both in these like silk shirts and we're singing. And then my biggest memory I have of it is being like really depressed afterwards Hi. <laughs> because it finished. And I said bye to Bruno and he, because when you're doing it and you're doing a car for, right. Yeah. You are in the car for about, so maybe two, maybe four hours. Okay. 
normally it's around two but sometimes it's a bit a bit longer if you're doing a big stunt or whatever and so i'm i just love music and i love artists and singers so much that i sort of convince myself whilst we're in the car because there's no one else there it's just us that i'm like oh we're becoming friends and then you're not because he's Bruno Mars. So then afterwards, I was so excited about it. I walked back up to my office and I thought, well, I'm never going to get to do that again. No. Oh, no. I thought I had such a good time. It's a bit like someone, it's a bit like someone playing you the movie, you know, I don't know, Goodfellas or Grease and yeah. going, you, you're going to watch it once and you can never see it again. You'd be like, oh. Yeah, but, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's how it felt. It, yeah, well, it is time for this. Here we go. Roman's mega hard super specialist quiz. Yes. Welcome to the Mega Hard Super Specialist Quiz, where a celebrity, athlete, brainiac, and or you take on five questions of increasing difficulty. And today, James Corden, you will be taking it on. Now, the subject the I don't know if you chose this or your team has chosen this, but but we think it fits very well. Your chosen subject is carpool karaoke. <laughs> okay. Okay? Okay. Yes. We know you're a big fan. <laughs> this is going to be embarrassing how little I'm going to remember about anything. I would like to say in my defence... It's 11.36 at night. <laughs> I got in from work uh, but about 38 minutes ago. There are... How many people? Hang on. There's, there's 11 people sleeping in my house at the moment. Wow. So it's me, my wife, our three kids, our friends Chris and Mark. My sisters are here on two blow-up beds. <laughs> and my mum and dad. And P. Diddy. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and P. Diddy. And P. Diddy. Yeah. P. Hey, Diddy's well, here and he's going to give me a tutorial on how to please my wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, James, James, listen carefully. The rules are simple. Okay. okay you're about to face five questions yeah. of increasing difficulty. You must answer as quickly as possible. There's a rough time okay. on this. Uh, if you All get right. it correct, you move on to the next round. Okay. Now, James, do you know what happens if you get it wrong? I imagine I perish in embarrassment yes you do indeed james you do indeed right uh james are you ready for round one i'm absolutely pumped here we go come on james we're backing you here come round on. one seven years ago selena gomez joined you in carpool karaoke when you sung hands to myself and taylor swift's shake it off but what i want to know which american children's tv network did selena gomez rise to fame on was it disney it was Disney. Well done. Disney. Oh, she was a, okay, Disney, yeah. Disney, Disney. Right. Yes. Round two. Your Bruno Mars carpool karaoke that you've spoken about has over 149 million views. Just a couple. Uh, where you tried on different hats and he taught you, uh, apparently he taught you a steamy dance routine at one point. I think you seem to remember that. Uh, but what I want to know, which one of which one of his songs uses the lyrics, players Put your pinky fingers to the moon. Is it 24 Karat Magic or is it Grenade? It's 24 Karat Magic. Round three. Yeah. Round three. Australian singer-songwriter Sia helped you get to work despite her hair covering her eyes. She's very <laughs> dangerous. Don't drive like that. Uh, she's written songs for so many artists, right, including Beyonce, Kylie Minogue, Flo Rida and Rihanna. But what I want to know, which rapper did she collaborate with on her song Cheap Thrills? Uh, is it um, Sean Paul? Round yeah. four. Oh, come on. Shot. I also would have accepted Shauna Paul. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> round four. You crammed the One Direction boys into your car in 2015. Niall next to you in the front. Liam and ha Liam, Harry and Louis in the back. You choreographed and filmed a music video for their song No Control. But what I want to know: which three places does Harry Styles have tattooed on his left bicep? I mean, I don't, I did not a chance, not a chance. There's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's called the Mega Hard Zoom Specialist Quiz for a reason. Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Where else does he like him? Five seconds. Skyscrapers. It, I, it can't be, it can't be Three. New York. Yes. Can't, Chicago, Vegas. You oh. have failed. And Manchester. It, was <laughs> it should be Manchester. It should be Manchester. He's got New York, Los Angeles, and London tattooed oh. on his arm. But you know what, James, thank you so much, mate, for, for taking on the Mega Hard 2 Specialist Kids. It is Mega Hard Super Specialist for a reason. 
I hate to say it. No one wins. That's the that's the thing in this game. No one ever wins. Yeah, no, I've I've really you've really really brought me down before my last show. Brilliant, oh, yeah. brilliant. Well, well, that's, that's not what we want to do. <laughs> hey, well, look, James, uh, thank you so much for coming onto the show today, mate. I really really appreciate it. And honestly, thank you so much for all of the entertainment that you've given us over the years yeah, for this show. Yeah, congratulations, James. Yeah, congratulations. When you're back in the UK, we will give you a welcome home party. You are well. Don't start with this because Roman promises a party every time I get back. And no, he never, you he said ever, I'm no, having a party. Never, he never delivers. No, he no, never no, delivers. I'll organise it. There was it. talk of like he says, "Oh, yeah, no, let's have a barbecue." Nothing. Oh, nothing. nothing. I can help with that. Yeah, actually. Chris will Chris sort that out. Nothing. Hey, nothing. James. And then you, and then I won't hear from him for like four months, and then I'll just get a FaceTime at two a.m. and he's in the back of a cab. <laughs> That's most people's relationship with him, I think. <laughs> Amazing. James, thank you so much. And best of luck with the final show. We know you're going to smash it. And we can't wait to see you back here in London, mate. I can't wait to see. Thank you for having me on. And uh, keep doing what you do. You know, quite often, I, if I ever get back from work late... I've got this app on my phone, which may or may not be illegal. I don't know, but I, uh, I will often find myself listening to you guys on the on the breakfast show, and I think you're doing so great. You're brilliant, and uh, and I think what you do with the show is so inventive and creative, and, uh, and really, really. I really, really do. I, I love you. I love listening to it, and I can't wait to see you when I'm back. Oh, Thanks, same mate. back to you, Let's James. Let's hear it for James Corden, everyone. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. 